Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks and I had another request from my daughter Lily that she wanted a, a beanie with pom-poms so she looked like a bear which I think is adorable. It's going to be so cute. So I designed this really fast. Um, it's made with a super bulky six weight yarn and a 10 millimeter hook. Need a 10 millimeter hook and a super bulky. She chose, what do I have? Burnett Softy Chunky today and it is definitely a six. Yes, it's a six. Wants me to use an eight, but I'm going to use a 10 millimeter hook and then you need two little pom-poms, preferably the ones that have the little elastics on them. If you prefer to make your own, that's fine too. You can always make pom-poms. I just like these fuzzy ones. They just look so cute. So they have the little, they have these little loops on them already, which is very helpful. And you're going to need a couple of buttons right there. So let's get this started. This is super bulky, so it works up very quickly. I've set my pom-poms aside. I don't need those quite yet. All right, so here we go. Okay. Slip knot as always on our 10 millimeter hook and we are going to chain 23. All right, so there's our chain of 23. Very simple, chain 23. Now we are going to start in the second chain from the hook and we're going to work in these little back bumps. I'm going to do 22 total all the way down and in the back bumps and I know it takes a little longer to do things in the back bumps but it's really worth it because you get a nice finished edge. So I will meet you down at the tail end. There's my last two stitches. There's one and here's my very last half double crochet for that first round. My first row. It's there. Very nice. Alright, next row is chain one turn our work and we are going to half double crochet in the back loops only which is right here. So we're going to yarn over, go through the back loop only right there up and pull through all three. Do that again. Yarn over, up, pull through all three. Yarn over, back lump, back bump or the back loop only and pull through all three. Back loop only, pull through all three. And do that all the way down. I'll meet you at the end. Double crochets in the back loops only. There we go. Fun. Alright, we want to have a clicker handy so you can keep track of your rows because we want to have 26 of those. We did one, so we need to do 25 more rows back and forth of half double crochet in the back loop only. So 25 more, 26 total. Really like this yarn. What is this? what color is this one? Gray rag. That's fun. All right, so we're going to chain one and turn our work, and we're going to half double crochet into the back loop only, which is right here. Back loops only, all the way down until we have 26 rows. And the last couple of stitches in the second row of half double crochet back loop only. And that was the second of 26. So we're going to go click. Alright, so we chain one, turn our work, and back loop only half double crochets again. This is amazingly fast how quickly this one will crochet up. We're using 
size 6 super bulky and a 10 millimeter hook and we're making a beanie and have this done in no time meet you back at the end and there's my very last stitch in row 26 click there now we have a big rectangle I will turn it into a hat all right so we're gonna get these lined up through the first stitch you go through the whole stitch and in the other side to go through the back loop only and it's just a slip stitch so again under the through this whole stitch and the back one is the back loop only and a slip stitch see these stitches get a little tight so it's a good thing we work through the back bumps through that whole stitch and through the back loop only do this all the way down for all 22 of these stitches and I'll meet you at the end. And here are the last three stitches. I've, my chain row got very tight. So it's definitely worth going through the back bumps so you have a real stitch. But they did get kind of tight. My tension was a little off I guess but I'm still making it work. And here's my last stitch. I'm going to go through the whole stitch in the front right here and the back one is just the back loop only and slip stitch. And there was my last stitch. And we want to finish this off with a very long tail. So now we're going to close up the top. We'll close up the top, so leave a long tail, nice long tail. And to finish off, I like to bring both of these through. And there's my long tail. So this is the outs or this will be the inside. We keep it on the outside right now. We're going to thread our big needle with our long tail. And then just slip stitch or whip stitch. around the top so we can cinch it closed. close to the end, pull it as tight as you can. Got a couple more stitches to do here. Just a whip stitch. Nothing special exactly about the way it's supposed to be. Just whip stitch it closed and get it pulled as tight as you possibly can. And do a couple of stitches across just to keep the hole closed. Since this is on the inside, you don't have to do anything fancy. Just want to make sure that the hole stays closed on the tippy top. Doesn't come on the doesn't come loose. And then fasten off. And again, this is on the inside, fasten off any way you want. If you want to make a little knot, that's fine too, because you won't even notice it will be on the inside. So I'm just going to make a little knot right there and cut that off. And now, extra fun part, we are going to find our seam again, which is right here. 
So we want to keep that in the back, even though it's not going to show very much at all. So you can see right there, it's not going to show much, but we want to keep it in the back. And we are going to attach our buttons. So anywhere down in here. That will be enough for that button. We're just going to tie that in a little knot. And about the same spot on the other side, we'll sew on our other button. Bulky yarn has a little bit of, it'll have a little bit of wiggle room in here, so you don't really have to have them exactly in the same spot. Got the gather at the top and everything, so it's going to have a little bit of wiggle room. You'll have a little bit of leeway there. Don't have to worry about it being perfect by any means because you're not even going to see it. And just tie this in a little knot again. And snip. Now for the fun part, right, our seam is right here, button's right here. We're going to turn this back inside out, or right side out. There's our beanie hat. And now we're going to take our pom-poms. I want to find the Sometimes they're hidden, especially when I have a white pom-pom. Okay, get a hold of this guy. Pull him out a little bit, get him a little bit stretched out. So we're going to go in here, right by the button. Pull the elastic in. Right here. That's where I got a hold of our elastic, and now we're going to go around the button with that little tiny piece of elastic that's already built into the pom-pom. And do the same thing on the other side. There's one. And on this side. We do the same thing. Gotta find the little white. There's my little piece of elastic right there. I'm gonna pull him through and get it around. The tighter the better, then the, then the pom-poms won't come off. Fluff them up. And it's perfect. Isn't that cute? You can fold up here if you want because the entire thing is ripped. So you can have a brim if you want any size of a brim that you want at all. So cute. So there you go. That is, uh, this is what I call Lily's Pom Pom Bear Beanie. This, it was a special request, so I decided I would make it for her, and I think it turned out great. I am so excited by this. Um, so hopefully you'll like your bear beanie too, with the little puffy ears. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.